Hi everybody, I'm uh, really excited about today. I had a really good day. I've had a really good day because it's not that late, it's just early afternoon. Anyways, I have so much to talk about today. Uh, first, what I want to talk about is I went and I discovered a new bookstore near where I live called The Book Stop. It is a used bookstore. So I went there today and I got some books. Um, it's just a little book haul, it's not too big. They do something similar to what um, The Book Nook, which I go to, which I usually go to. And Marietta, it's something similar to what they do, which is, and I guess most used bookstores do this, but anyway, basically you can trade books for store credit, and then um, you accumulate credit, and, and any, on any given purchase, the book credit covers half of your purchase, and then you pay for the other half. So it's a really great way to really hoard books, and I was doing that for a really long time. I've actually gone through and donated, like, I mean, I had a lot of book credit at the book nook. I mean, 40 something dollars worth because I donated or I gave them so many books, mostly uh, popular romance series that I wasn't following anymore. But anyway, so I got four books at the bookstop today. The first one that I want to talk about, I'm really excited about finding this one, is The Paris Wife by uh, Paula McLean. This book has been on my wish list on Amazon for a really long time and for one reason or another I just haven't gotten around to getting it. Um, it's just that, I guess it's just so new that even used it's a little bit more expensive than what I wanted to get. Like still selling for ten dollars and it's a ten dollar download on your Kindle so I was just like eh not so much but getting it for like seven bucks because they um, the way that it works is they charge you half of the list price of the book. So seven bucks, I can deal with that. And then the second book that I got was The Alchemist, which is the first book in the secrets of, hold on, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, which I was, I actually saw on Overdrive, that, uh, which is a database that my local library uses to, so that you can borrow digital books as well as hard copies of books. Um, I started reading it and I didn't get a chance to finish it because I had a lot of stuff going on but so this is my second book in the book haul and this is by uh, Michael Scott um, and it's really pretty because it's shiny and stuff so I'm always a fan of uh, fantasy and sci-fi so that was a huge reason why the book appealed to me. The second book that I got is The Rossetti Letter by Christy Phillips. Um, this is another one that was on my that is on my Amazon wish list. Um, it's a historical novel which I'm a huge huge fan of. I love historical novels there. Christy Phillips is the author and um, I'm a huge fan of historical novels. Um, my senior capstone class at uh, university what that was the theme was historical novels so kinda got me on a trend. I'm really excited to read this one. It is going to be set in Venice so I will let you know how that goes. The final book that I got was is Ghost Walk by Rebecca Scott. Yes. Um, and this is, again, been on my wish list for forever. And uh, this is uh, about Sir Isaac Newton. This one was actually on my wish list because when I finished reading the Deliverance, the Physic Book of Deliverance, Dane, um, this one popped up as well. So we'll see how this goes. This is about Sir Isaac Newton set in the 1600s as well as modern day. So we'll see how that goes. Very excited about the four books that I got today. Also went to a, a great little coffee shop in Smyrna called Rev. I love their coffee. I love privately, I love independent coffee shops just so much. Their coffee is so much better. It has such a, a fuller taste and uh, Anyway, not to say that I don't love Starbucks, because I do believe me, if you see my credit card, you would know I love me some Starbucks, but when I'm in the area, or when I'm in a, an area that has a pri that has an independent coffee shop, I'm always willing to go there and try their coffee, and usually the atmosphere is a lot more fun, it's not quite so, um, not sterile as Starbucks is, but star every Starbucks is pretty much the same, and not every coffee shop that is, you know, independent is the same, which atmosphere is really a lot of fun. I just wish people talked more to each other in the coffee shops. I'm kind of a big fan of conversing in public, but lately, like, you go to a coffee shop and you're only there because of the, uh, the, the free Wi-Fi. Um, but I actually have a hashtag on Twitter that I've started called, uh, oh god, what is it called? Crap. Anyway, I'll post it later. It's like converse, hashtag converse in public or, or yeah, something like that. So that is my mini book haul for right now. Um, and shortly I'm going to make up a video of a tag that I saw Ariel Bassett do uh, back in April. But I want that to be separate from, uh, from this one. So I'll talk to you guys soon.